Good evening, folks. On this 23rd of April, we are back in the New Testament this evening for some food for thought. We're in the book of Revelation, the last book of the Bible, chapter 5 and verse 6. Lo, in the midst of the throne stood a lamb as it had been slain. So let's see how Spurgeon applies this for our souls. Why should our exalted Lord appear in his wounds in glory? The wounds of Jesus are his glories, his jewels, his sacred ornaments. To the eye of the believer, Jesus is passing fair because he is white and ruddy, white with innocence and ruddy with his own blood. We see him as the lily of matchless purity and as the rose crimsoned with his own gore. Christ is lovely upon Olivet and Tabor and by the sea, but oh, there never was such a matchless Christ as he that did hang upon the cross. There we beheld all his beauties in perfection, all his attributes developed, all his love drawn out, all his character expressed. Beloved, the wounds of Jesus are far more fair in our eyes than all the splendour and pomp of kings. The thorny crown is more than an imperial diadem. It is true that he bears not now the sceptre of, of reed, but there was a glory in it that never flashed from sceptre of gold. Jesus wears the appearance of a slain lamb as his court dress, in which he wooed our souls and redeemed them by his complete atonement. Nor are these only the ornaments of Christ, they are the trophies of his love and of his victory. He has divided the spoil with the strong. He has redeemed for himself a great multitude whom no man can number. These scars are the memorials of the fight. Ah, if Christ thus loves to retain the thought of his sufferings for his people, how precious should his wounds be to us. Behold how every wound of his a precious balm distills, which heals the scars that sin hath made and cures all mortal ills. Those wounds are mouths that preach his grace, the ensigns of his love, the seals of our expected bliss in paradise above. I pray that we might have indeed food for thought there as we apply those words and think about them in all that Christ has done for us and how we think upon him. Until the next time, God bless, do take care, and bye for now.